everyone, it's Nisha. You have no idea how excited I am for this video, beyond excited. Um, I wanted to do this minty spring makeup and what inspired me originally is the Huda Beauty Melted Metal Eyeshadows. Do you remember? I bought three different ones and one of them is this one, which is Minted and Dinero. So Minted is the matte one. And Dinero is a bit more subtle and metallic. This one doesn't seem to me that minty, really. It's sort of aqua. Anyway. Um, and then, um, I've probably never shown you these palettes. I've bought them a while ago just for if I fancy doing a makeup with like a pop of color. So the first one that I bought is the Juvia's Place, uh, would you believe it's called Mini, palette uh, in Masquerade. And I love this one because even though you've got like eight crazy colors, you have eight quite neutral colors. So you can still create like a, you know, everyday look, but you can add any of these for a pop of color. So as you can see, I've got here like a greenish minty color. So I might use that. And I also bought the OPV Beauty London. I actually bought this one first and I thought, oh my God, this is crazy. It's called Rainbow Splash. And this one has just crazy colors in it, but beautiful. And as you can see, it's got a lot of sort of minty greens. So I might use some of these. And then I also remember that I have the Revolution, <laughs> Revolution, Revolution Emily palette. And in here, remember I did a green look with it. There is a minty color, khaki and like a dark green. So I might use that one as well, just like to darken up my uh, corners. I also have, um, these two uh, green pencils from Kiko. I bought them a while ago, so I might incorporate those. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to sit and play and enjoy it. I even wore this ring. This is my old ring from Ottoman Hands because it's got that lovely minty green color here. Anyway, let's have a go. Okay, I think I'm going to start with Minted. Uh, because, you know, it is quite difficult to comprehend that cream or liquid matte eyeshadow would work. But I've tried the other colors and they are beautiful. They blend in so nice. You can blend it with your finger, with a brush. So let's just put that on our mobile lid. And I will take a clean brush and try to blend it out. Blends out lovely, but I can see I've got like bold spots here. So I probably need some more. Let's pat it first. But do you know, it just blends out to a matte eyeshadow color. It's really, really weird. But I wouldn't say this one is completely opaque, but that's okay. This is going to be our, like a base. I think now from the, um, Rainbow, pal Rainbow Splash Palette, I will take the Phantom, which is this minty one, and put it somewhere. <laughs> so this is, oh my God. This is amazing. 
that is such a beautiful color can you see that so I'm putting it mostly in the middle of my mobile lid oh god I love it how am I gonna go and walk my dog <laughs> I love it <laughs> okay I need to now go with something in my corner and in this palette I have intense which is this green and it's matte let's have a look what we've got in the Juvia's place I don't have any matte greens in here I might later use maybe one of these for like a transition we will see but I don't think I will be able to use this one because I've got this one but this is um, very shimmery shadow so let, let's try this intense oh my god Okay, so this color is actually very similar to the minted. Um, just a bit more intense, but it is very, very similar. It's not dark enough, but I will put it in here anyway. Oh my God. I love it so much. Right, I might need to go to Emily's palette and I might use this very um, dark green called Corduroy just in a corner. We will see what I'm going to get with that. Yeah, that's good to now just darken this outer seven. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. <laughs> I am going to take clean fluffy brush to blend it out a bit and pull it a bit above my crease so I'm going to keep building up this dark corduroy from Emily palette you can if you watch my green eye makeup tutorial when I did it with Emily palette you probably can do something very similar just with this palette because obviously I don't expect you if you're crazy enough to wear this makeup I don't expect you to have all the three palettes obviously you have to really take your time blending because you know these are very bright colors and also you might notice that a lot of time when I lay a color on you see the young you know makeup artists just buffing it lovely like this but they have very very smooth skin on their eyes um, you know my skin is all crepey and really loose so when I just go and blend like this, it skips over my <laughs> loose skin, so it doesn't look so smooth. So sometimes the tapping really, really help, helps. So you cover all the bold spots that you would otherwise skip with just, you know, this beautiful blending movement. I'm just slowly blending it out upwards. Up 
okay now I think I'm going to go back to the Huda Beauty and I'm going to use Dinero in the inner corner of my eye oh yes yes this one is definitely not as minty this is to me more very pale aqua but it's nice because it brightens up the corner of your eye really nicely another thing is this brush is quite thick so you might want to take a thinner eyeliner brush to to use this with Okay, which means that now I am going to go with the corduroy from Emily palette here on my lower lash line, just on the outer portion of my eye to marry the top and bottom together. Um, now here in the middle, I'm going to use the intense from the rainbow splash palette the only problem is you will have to definitely wash all your brushes after this i have the same problem on my bottom lash line you know like some people have actual little bump here like a little lid and I'm so jealous of that because whereas mine is sort of sunk in and also when I'm moving my skin you can see my skin moving it's very very difficult do you know I sometimes think to myself I want to see these 20 something YouTubers doing their makeup in 20 years. I don't think they know what's gonna hit them. It's very challenging. Okay, I think then I will take again Phantom, which from the Rainbow Palette and because that's lovely and shimmery and I will apply it here so it sort of matches the top. I think that that would be it. I might blend it out with something light brown. I probably will use, hang on, I've got Emily palette. Shall I use the Hobby? I might use the Hobby or Midwest. Midwest is a bit warmer, maybe Midwest. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's nice, just to warm it up a bit. I might do the same with Midwest underneath my eye, just slightly. Can you see that skin moving? <laughs> it's like paper. I love it. Shall I leave it there? Shall I add a bit darkness here? This is such a, honestly, these colors are amazing. Okay, I think, shall I use these pencils? I could try to use this one like in my waterline. And this is Kiko 07.
yes if I scrub it in my lashes that intensifies this green I will scrub that one like sort of in a middle and then I will take the darker one which is 08 and you know you don't have to use these pencils I mean there is so many different green pencils on the market mm -hmm. okay eyes done no I might put black liner on the top so to give some sort of definition to the lash line because right now it's just like a greenery i think i might use the black liner from benefit in roller lash i start from about here I don't know, I might pull it right to the corner, I don't know yet. I might have to do this off camera because I need to get really, really close to the mirror. Okay, so that was my best attempt at my wing liner. You know, hooded eyes and wing liner don't work together very well. And I think I will go to the mascara now. I think I'm going to use the roller lash mascara first to define my lashes. Wait for it to dry and I might thicken it up with the volume Le Chanel, the Chanel. And I might also put some lashes on. Um, I might put my favorite Fleur de Force three quarter lashes on. I don't want you know huge all over lashes because that will just cover my look okay <laughs> what do you think I love it I love it so much now we have to do a lip I only have gloss on my lips and it is the Fenty Beauty gloss gloss bomb um, but I think this need like really this look needs like a not pink because that would be too parroty I think like a really beigey nude lip so I'm going to go and find something suitable okay so for my lips I use the Urban Decay lip liner in Laya Charlotte Tilbury's Kim KW and Nars Turkish Delight that seemed obvious choice although I don't know I've overdrawn my lips a, a bit and this gloss always gives you gives your lips such more juicy plumpy look so what do you think I absolutely love it I think it's a beautiful beautiful look and it would look equally gorgeous if not better on brown eyes okay my lovelies i really really enjoyed this i might do some more looks like this playing with color let me know if you would like to see that but for now that's all thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye